what is up guys we are back with another video and today is a bios video of course with you know intel comet like s launching we have a ton of z490 motherboards here and of course we're going to be doing z490 motherboard bios overviews so this is the bios on the asrock z490 pg velocita and they do have an easy mode just like they had with their z390 motherboards so when you boot you should go into easy mode here which should give you pretty much everything you need you need to do before you you know do a first boot into windows you can set your xmp profiles you can do all that kind of stuff so i'm going to run through easy mode and i'm also going to run through advanced mode and some of those other settings and things like that now remember if you have any questions about this bios or where a setting is or anything like that go ahead and leave it in the comment section below so to start out up top we just have our information lets us know our cpu we're running the speed total memory our dram information um what uh lanes or what slots are filled and uh, profile so to enable your xmp profile you just click uh, auto or profile one and we're there storage configuration um, you can see we only have one storage device in here you can enable raid mode very easily up top here we have our cpu temperature in real time you can also see your cpu voltage in real time we have fan stats we can see our cpu fan and we have our two uh, vrm cooling fans here um, you can see, you know, the speeds that they're running as well. And any fan that you have connected to a header, you'll see the fan status right here. You can change the fan setting. You can just click this and you can go to like quiet, performance, full speed. You can do all that here. Um, under tools, we have instant flash, which allows you to easily flash your BIOS with a USB flash drive. We have internet flash, which will connect to the internet and flash your BIOS. And then we have fantastic tuning. I'll go into that one. Um, and this allows you to easily tune all of the fans and fan headers on your motherboard. Again, we have the same silent standard performance full speed. We can also see we have our MOS fans here. Um, so you can actually configure the curves for those um, if they're too loud. But I have the motherboard actually running right beside me and it's, they're not really all that loud at all. And then we have boot priority. So again, we only have one drive installed, but we have multiple drives. You know, you can just drag and drop like this. Uh, it's incredibly easy to do to set up your boot priority. Um, some of the other things you can see like your polychrome RGB. If you don't want it on when you have power connected, um, that happens a lot. Like if you actually power off your system, but it's still connected to your power supply, the RGB LEDs will still stay on. So you can actually turn those on and off. You have F1 for help. Um, that just brings up all of your shortcuts and things like that. We have uh, load defaults right here, save and exit and discard changes. Um, of course, you can change the language as well. So that's everything that's in the easy mode. Again, just the things like setting your XMP, I would say maybe, you know, doing your fan tuning if you want, and then boot priority. That's pretty much all you need to get Windows loaded and installed on your system. Now you can go in advanced mode. Of course, you can click here or hit F6. And now we're in advanced mode. So our main screen here, again, information on kind of what we have installed. And then we have a My Favorites menu, and we don't have anything in here. We haven't added anything in here, but any setting that's in the BIOS, you can add it to My Favorites so it's easy to access. You know, if you're changing XMP profile or if you're changing your CPU clock ratio or whatever it may be, you can go ahead and uh, add it to My Favorites so it's easier to access than going through a couple menus. The next tab over is OC Tweaker, and this is where you're gonna do all of your overclocking. Now again, we have our targets here, which is good to see. So if you're changing settings, you can see what your target speeds or what you're shooting at would be. CPU configuration, this is everything of course to do with the CPU. If you are overclocking on Z490 with an ASRock motherboard, it's incredibly easy. All you have to do, change CPU ratio to all core, and then what you want your core to be. In our testing, we were able to get the uh, i9-10900K to 5.2 gigahertz on the a system that we have. So we would hit 52 and hit enter and then save and then we'll be good to go. But you can just type in auto, I believe. No, oh, maybe not. Uh, oh, you can go to auto and then you're back there. But um, that's how you overclock. And then we'll go into voltage here in a second. But this is everything again. 
um, you know, to do with CPU settings, advanced uh, settings and things like that. DRAM configuration, this is everything to do with your memory. So you can actually go in and see the timings on each slot, which is pretty cool. Um, but again, you can enable or disable XMP profiles, you can do your timings, um, you know, there, there's a lot. You can go all the way down into your timings and set everything up however you want it. It's very easy to do. Voltage, um, this is all your voltages. So again, if we were overclocking, we would change our CPU core voltage to not auto, probably fixed mode, and then we would do say like 1.35 to start, maybe go up or down, depending on there. And you can see when we did change the voltage, it changes our uh, load line calibration. So again, if you are overclocking, you might want to change this or mess around with it, but you can see level one, um, you know, is, is at the top there. So um, we'll change this back again, just go back to auto, but this is all of your vol voltages. So DRAM voltages, everything is in here. And it's kind of nice because it's all organized in these little folders. So if you're doing anything with the CPU, it's here. If you're doing anything with DRAM, it's here. If you're doing anything with voltage, it's here. Super easy to find. Now we can save and load a bunch of profiles, up to 10 profiles, um, very easy to do. And you can do it all with a flash drive, um, loading as well as saving too. Under advanced, again, this is our CPU configuration. You can enable different things that have to do with your CPU. Like we can turn hyper threading on and off, all our different C states, um, things like that. We can go ahead and turn off. It's pretty easy to do. Chipset configuration, again, this is everything that's on the chipset. So we can turn the graphics adapter um, you know, we can switch that to the, our onboard graphics on the CPU. We can do all that stuff, our link speeds, um, you know, shared memory. Um, we can turn our ethernet connections on or off, audio on and off, anything that has to do with the chipset, it's in here. Storage configuration, again, this is our, this is our storage. You can see that we have our drive installed. Um, and you can go in there and, and just enable and disable certain things and see all of the information on the drive itself. Thunderbolt, uh, we don't have Thunderbolt on this. Um, you do have the header if you want to get the card, but uh, you couldn't do that there. Super IO, ACPI stuff. USB configuration again, this should all be good by default, but um, you can turn, you know, legacy USB support on or off. You can enable or disable all the different ports and things like that. And trusted computing, if you have a TPM device, um, you know, it says we don't have one because we don't, but if you do, uh, you'll have all the settings for that. Under tools, again, we have Polychrome RGB, which allows you to um, it's basically like the software without the software, right? So it's all done on the motherboard. You don't have to um, install the software. You can set all your Polychrome RGB stuff and it kind of, you know, do it that way instead of installing the software. Uh, UEFI text service, this allows you, if you have internet connected, you can actually send an email to text service through your motherboard. So say this is like your only internet device for some reason, if you don't have a cell phone, um, you can actually send them an email um, that way. Easy RAID installer for setting up RAID. Um, SSD secure erase tool allows you to securely erase an SSD. And NVMe sanitation tool is kind of like the same thing for NVMe drives. Um, again, instant flash, uh, Intel MEI flash, internet flash, and network configuration. You want to set this up uh, if you are doing any of the like uh, BIOS update via internet because it does it all through the BIOS. So set up your network configuration if you want to do that. Hardware monitor gives us our real-time readouts of temperatures, fan speeds, and voltages. If you're having some issues, um, you might want to check this to see what your CPU temperatures are at and everything like that. And then you can set up your fans. Again, you can go into fantastic tuning. You can tune all your fans or you can set them individually here with all the different settings. It's, it's quite easy to do. Under security, uh, you have your passwords and everything like that. You can set up secure boots um, and then uh, platform trust technology you can turn on or off. Under boots, we have our boot options, um, boot priorities, things like that. You can turn on or off. And then under exit, we have all of our save changes. We also have load defaults uh, here, which I like to see. Um, just because sometimes I mess things up and yeah, you want to get back to the defaults and then we have boot override and I always talk about this. This is great because you want to install Windows from a flash drive. You, you go into the BIOS, you set all your settings, everything you want to do. 
you hit boot override on the flash drive, and then it, when it restarts, it's going to boot from the hard drive, not the flash drive. So I love having boot override. It's pretty much standard on all motherboards these days. And that is everything that's in the advanced mode here. Um, super easy to navigate, even for an advanced mode. I can find every option that I want. And of course, I can set up these My Favorites and um, put all my you know settings that I use just in a little folder there. And it's easy to toggle back between the two, hit F6, and we're back in easy mode. Now again, easy mode has everything I think that you need to kind of get running, you know, up and running too. Now again, if you have any questions about this motherboard, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. Um, and also check out our video on this specific motherboard. We'll, we'll have that link below as well. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, I would appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up. And if you enjoy our tech content, go ahead and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video.